What's up everybody? It's your boy Michael checking in again. Just got back this weekend from an awesome retreat. So that's why I've been a little absent, but uh, I'm back and I'm making a new video. And this is going to be about what it's like to be a college football player during the calendar year. Wanted to give you guys a look at what the schedule's like, the training schedule's like all throughout the year. So I'm gonna give you one of those. Um, first, I wanted to give a shout out to a lot of people are actually right now because you know. So I wanna start with Stacy from France who actually said, I don't know if I'm gonna get a better chance to get a shout out because I'm from France. And actually today you are, and a bunch you are. I saw a bunch of people from around the world and I wanted to give love to my international squad out there, my fans out there all over the world. So stay think from France, Erwin Tarberia from France, Magrelin from Brazil, and Jacoby Nesh from Germany. Love you guys, appreciate the support from overseas. You know I'm thinking about you, I'm rooting for you guys. Since I gave four shout outs to the international squad, I got to stay true to the state squad, to the people over here on my homeland. So the first one goes to Gaming with Cam, who said he's a notification gang. I love that, notifications. Make sure you have them turned on. Get to the videos first, get to see it when they come out. The official Tyler D, Ashton Thomas, who says we make him chase his dreams. I love that. I want to keep inspiring you guys. And then lastly, I wanted to give one to Bailey with the period. I'm gonna make sure there's a period there. And he said Rector Gang, I love it. Keep grinding, guys. Now I'm gonna go train, gonna go throw a little bit with Sefo and Ramel. We got a kid named Blake who went to Bellarmine, but he was a couple years behind us. Um, but he's gonna go try to walk on this next year. So we're gonna go train with them, get some work in, we'll vlog some of that. And then I'm gonna go play some golf with my cousin, Ramel. Then I'll come back and I'll uh, answer some questions. And then after I answer some questions, We'll get into the video, the main content in the video. Stay tuned. All right, so I just got to the field. Wait on it, watch. They're gonna talk about how, how I'm late. It's all they do, but I'm always stylishly late. Watch. Say something, say something to the camera. Oh, what's up, camera? What's up, what's good? Hey, what you saying? Hey, bro. What happened? Where you been? Hey, I told, I told the camera over there, you guys were just gonna talk about how I'm always late. <laughs> like you always do, man. Stylish, stylish, you late, always do. Shout out. What's up? Just rep your block. I'm up on my block. Gone. We gon' make a move. Gon' get your popcorn. Riding with the tool. Go around get shot. Dogging with my food. One time for my hood. Shout out to my hood. My young. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Let's go! There you go. Oh, let's see it, Michael. Yeah. Whew. See the ground smoking? It's fast. Uh, uh. There you go. Uh, uh. There you go. Hell no. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, y'all. We're out here on the golf course. Got Docky right here. My cousin Bo. It's getting ready to tee off in a little bit. Maybe go hit some practice swings. And uh, you already know. Put your money on me. I'll take you to the top. We're out here. The first tee box. Yeah. Bow over there. Hopefully we hit it long and straight today. Long and straight. All right, guys, I'm back. 
And like I said, you put your money on me, I'll take it to the top. I think I just won by seven strokes and that's big time for golf, but you know, there's always a next time for other people. So we'll see, you know, it was a good day for me. I was hitting the ball when I loved it. Anyways, yeah, I just got back. I'm gonna answer some questions now. The first question I'm gonna answer is from Crunch, who is from the UK and he asked for any advice that I have for international guys. And I would say for me, it's tough being over there if you wanna play American football, but I would say that the best way you can get recognized is to start emailing coaches, emailing programs as soon as you can, send them tapes, send them video recordings of you on the field, just highlights, whether it's CDs, you mail it in, or just on the email and send a link. But I would say do it as much as you can, send them as much info, as much film as you can, because it is harder getting recognized being international. The second question I'm gonna answer is from Aaron Moai. I hope I pronounced that right. He asks, can I explain the nutrition and how nutrition helps football performance and everything like that. So I would say nutrition is very important, but I think it depends on your goals, differs with your goals on how you should approach nutrition. For example, if you're trying to gain weight in the off season, you can eat six meals a day and just load up on calories. If you're trying to maintain maybe five meals, if you're trying to lose weight, maybe just the regular three. Um, I think it depends on your goals but you do eat a lot of carbs to build it up. And then also if you're using supplements, make sure they're safe before you use supplements. But you can use you know, creatine before, protein after. It's always good to get protein after even if you're trying to um, maintain. When I was in a bulking phase, I would eat six meals a day and then I would also add protein shakes right after my workouts. So I would have two to three workouts a day and I would always have um, a big protein shake. So yeah, you can get a protein supplements and take those or however you wanna take your protein, but the more protein, the better. And then an extra tip if you're trying to gain weight is right before you go to bed, before you brush your teeth, you just take some protein there also, whether it's like a bar, whether it's another shake, but if you do it before you go to bed and go to sleep and you let that protein work in your body overnight, over time while you work out and you do all these things, you should see an increase in your size. So I hope that helps. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna go shower, change, and then I'm gonna be back and I'll talk to you guys about what the calendar year looks like for a college football player, specifically at Stanford. All right, guys, I'm going to go sit down real quick and I'm going to talk to you guys about what it was like being a college football player throughout the calendar year, specifically what it was like at Stanford, because obviously that's all I know. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be somewhat similar wherever you go to college. So hopefully it helps. So for me, what I think that a lot of people miss in today's world is how much work and time actually goes into a sport, whether it's football, basketball, soccer, whatever he or her is playing. Um, a lot of time goes in like when I graduated high school I flew out to Stanford 10 days after and I was I was there for the summer and that was it And so I kind of wanted to break it up into little segments on what it was like in the life of, of a football player That was me every summer. Uh, we have a program. That's just conditioning and lifting and we're doing that four days a week um, We're trying to get in the football shape in the running side of it So we're doing a lot of short distance sprints a lot of conditioning like that And we're doing a lot of a lot of lifting get bigger get stronger for the season So that's really where where we can explode and get in the football shape. And on top of that, we have player-led practices where, you know, the older guys, the senior, when I was senior, I helped lead them. We had practices two to three times a week where it was just players only. So I think that's really special where a player has to take of their team. The players have to lead if they want to be successful individually and as a team, which is the most important. And then after summer conditioning, we go right into training camp, which is when you're in football mode, basically from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. For, for 21 straight days. There's no breaks, no days off. We're practicing every day throughout the weekends. And that's really grind mode. Practices are long, they're hard. They're about two, two and a half hours. But you know, it's still fun. That's really where you get to bond with, with your teammates. We all move into one dorm. So it's just all football players in the dorm, coaches and everybody, and we just kind of bond. We get to play, you know, PlayStation, Xbox in the lounge, pool, whatever it is um, in our off time. But yeah, we're really going from 7 a.m. To, to 7 p.m., whether it's meals, practices, lifting, meetings, whatever, treatment. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's 21 straight days. And then from training camp, we go into the season. We have all of our classes have to be in the morning because we have practice and meetings in the afternoon. We still lift, not quite as much, but we lift three days a week. We're still lifting heavy, trying to get stronger. We don't really try to just maintain at Stanford. We try to get bigger, faster, stronger year round. So we do that and then we have meetings every day also. Monday would look like a light practice. We would just be in shells, which is just helmets and shoulder pads, no leg pads, no hitting. 
but that's what Mondays are. It's light. We try to get our, our bodies back. Um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays are both full practices. We're hitting, we're doing everything two, two and a half hours. It's, it's a grind, but that's really where you get most of your work in for that week. Thursday, it's, an, it's a walkthrough day. We have lots of meetings and then we walk through to kind of give our bodies a break. And then Fridays, we call them fast Fridays, which is where we're out in helmets only and we're running around doing our plays, doing our script for the, for the game the next day. But there's no hitting, but we are running full speed. Um, and then if it's a home game, we're finished. If it's an away game, we travel, fly wherever we're going. And then Saturday's game day is when we explode hopefully get the win. And then Sundays, it's just recovery day. People can come in, we get massages, ice tubs, hot tubs, whatever you need. I personally chose the lift on Sundays to kind of break up the lactic acid to uh, try to get my body soreness down and get back to where it was um, ready to perform that next week. And when we're in the winter, we're doing more distance, long distance uh, training and conditioning. We're running longer lengths, trying to get our conditioning up. You know, we also still have those player led practices, lift and run four days a week still. And then we also have this thing that we call 6 a.m.s, which is pretty cool. Everyone's waking up at 5.30, whenever, whatever you have to get ready for to be on the field at 6 a.m. ready to run and compete and they pair us up and it's us versus the other guy on different drills whether it's foot ladder stuff we're running hoops we're pulling each other back and forth trying to see who can pull the other person across the line we're just competing and this is at 6 a.m so when everyone else is sleeping across the country we're out there working and so i think that's really that's really unique to stanford and it's really cool it's really fun um obviously no one likes to wake up that early but i think that's what gave us so much success when i was there um then we go into spring and spring is when we work on speed and explosion training. We run 40s, do the uh, three cone, the L cone shuttle. We do 20, 20 yard short shuttles. Um, we do a lot of plyometrics um, in the sand, a lot of jumping, trying to get explosive and fast. Then we go into spring ball, which is like a mini training camp in, in spring where we get to actually play football with coaches, go through plays, have practices, um, compete, and really try to win um, a starting job. If you're competing for a starting job, then every phase is important, whether it's summer, preseason, whether it's training camp, whether it's the season, whether it's winter, trying to build a strong team, a strong core for the next season, whether it's spring, trying to get faster, stronger, bigger, and then summer, right back at it again. So yeah, it's all year round. We're always there. Our longest break is a couple weeks in June, but then we're right there, back at it, ready to go. So you really have to be on it year round. You're in football mode year round. And that's really what it takes if you want to be, you know, the best you can be at football or at anything. It's just being in that mindset and always having that on your mind, wanting to get better every day. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Tried to give you guys a little taste of what it was like to be a college football player, specifically at Stanford, but a college football player throughout the calendar year. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. If you want a question answer, go ahead and drop it in the comments. If you want a shout out, just leave squad in the comments and I'm gonna pick a couple randomly every video and give you guys a shout out. So as always, I appreciate all the support. I hope this video helped you guys and I'll catch you guys next time. Rick, signing out.